to techies welcome to ai brahma youtube channel my name is ganesh in this video tutorial we are discussing about automation anywhere practical question for interview and this is exercise 10 i hope you have watched all other old series if you are new to my channel please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get first notification to you about automation anywhere so directly we will go to the scenario this is a very special scenario because this is asked by one of the subscriber suraj padale so thank you very much for this wonderful question because uh, this is a very important question i hope in the interview the question is how to write any string in a reverse order without using reverse action yes so you know in the automation anywhere we have a one command reverse command right in the string but we should not use particularly that command but we have to you uh, convert like we have to reverse the string example if you have india india so we should get a i d n i right this is the reverse thing without using reverse option how we can use it in a automation anywhere very interesting question please don't skip the video till the end please watch it so you will get very good logic so there are a several way to do this particular question without using reverse but i got it very simple way so i am explaining that one if you have a, any other logic you can also comment it in the video so directly we will go to workbench we will see how we can check the reverse the first thing is we will make it dynamic this one because whenever uh, we will be in an interview so uh, if you make it that is dynamic interviewer will be very happy so that is a one plus point to hire you right so for that what we can use prompt so inside the prompt we have a prompt for a value so because we have to take india or ganesh or something string right that's why so here reverse please enter string and i will add it in input because this is the input for myself right so this is the input so i am taking a value from user the second thing is first we need to take the length of the particular string right if you have a india we have a five length is 5 right 1 2 3 4 5 like that we need to take the length of the input how we can get that one so in the string operation we have a length right so i'm just drag and drop so source string is yes input we are taking from the user and i'm saving in n length because n is a number so that's why and then so now i have a total length and one more logic is we need to remember whenever we are dealing with a string everything will start from the index zero right list index zero or table index zero right so it is dealing with index zero so that is you have to make sure because that is a basic logic right so based on that logic we will work this one so i will use a loop action to iterate one by one character because we should not use a string reversal right so in the string also we have a reversal activity reverse but we should not use this one so that is a question so that's why i need to use a loop and i need to iterate each and every character in the string so that's why what we can do each and every character means length times we have to run it right so that's why l length n l length right and i need to create a counter so just i'm creating a counter to hold the value and what is the value of the counter at the first iteration what is the value one yes absolutely right one is the value whenever the loop will start so inside the loop if you create a counter it will start from the one but i need an index zero from zero i need to start the index how we can do that one we need to decrement the counter right for that i have a 
decrement option in the number number decrement so what is the value counter and decrement by one and i'm adding into same counter so whenever i will start the loop my loop will start now zeroth index right zeroth index means it will start from the i zero one two three four four time it will run right like that so i'm just decrementing one counter right so now what i have to do i need to get the each and every character but it should be from the last character so because i need to reverse it right first i need to get the last character a if you see here the last character is a it should match with this a right this a this a will come first and i will come second d will come third n will come fourth this i will go last right like this i need to reverse it first i need to get the last character how we will get it last character from the string so that we can use a inside the string package we have a substring i hope you have you are aware of the substring activity if you are not aware please watch my videos in the previous video i have explained how to get the substring and how to get the extract text everything i have explained so if you are not getting the video please comment it in the video box comment box i will reach out to you as soon as possible so substring is a one i will explain you again so whenever we will have a source string i need to get each and every character or any specific character with the length example here we have a length of five i need to extract only three letters so then at that time we can use a substring activity right like this substring but here i need a each and every character wise so that's why length is one time so i will show you how we can use the substring the first thing is what is a source string source string is input so every time source string is input and where i need to start from actually in the first iteration okay if you see here i will just erase i will take a blue color one so in the first iteration i need to get a this a last a right so from where i need to start i need to start from the last so how we will get a last value or last character how means total length okay what i will do i will take a different color to understand better way so to get a this one so total length minus one right and if we, if i want a i character means total length minus two like that i need to minus three minus four minus five like that i need to increment the counters means total length minus counter value right so how we can use it n length minus counter value so then i will get a last character or like that second character third character fourth character like that so this one i need to assign it in one character right so that's why s character s care like that i will give it so now i will get a last character in the first iteration second iteration i will get the last but one character so like that it will work it but so i will get one one character here right one one character i will get but i need to combine those all character and i need to show it in a message box a reverse order first will come last character second it will come last but one character like this right how we can do so uh, in the substring whatever the character we will get it we will add it in particular command how we can add it so we will take one assign activity this is a string right string assign and i will add my character s character into output yes output because this is also string s output but whenever we will iterate everything should be in a one variable right first character second character third character like that in the reverse manner i need to get it 
how we can do so we have to use a reverse mechanism what i will do i will add a output and concatenate with s character output with s character right so everything is done so now i need to show it in a message box message box drag and drop value is s output so i'm just keeping message box outside outside the loop not inside the loop make sure it should be outside the loop so now i will run the bot so first it will ask us a value right because we have made this as a dynamic so interviewer will be very happy because you know how to make it dynamic right okay yes we got a please enter a string what string i need to write first i will take india i n d i a and i will click ok see i n d i a is in a reverse manner so if you see the output with particularly this one this is matching right a i d n i very simple right so very simple uh, i would look i would like to thank uh, suraj padole because very great question this is if you have uh, more and more question please let me know in a comments or mail or telegram or in a linkedin so i will try to uh, get the output and uh, uh, this is my ultimate goal from my side some students if they learn something so this will be great right so please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get the first notification and please share it into the community because everyone should know about the automation anywhere or rpa or ai right so that's why this is a good place to learn so we will check another output again because we have checked only one output india so it's time to check another use case so just we will check what we can check ganesh my name is ganesh see ganesh is in the reverse manner without using reverse operation right i hope you have understand the logic please let me know the feedback of my video uh, into the comment so i can increase my uh, update my uh, way of teaching or i can update the quality something if you have in a mind please give the feedback so it will be great thank you very much happy learning and don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and share the channel with the community thank you very much